Convent to St. Nick. The streets are mine. Observation. Romello looks like a drug-dealing Batman. How dramatic can you get? What's not quite right with Sugar Hill? Regular people don't dance like that. This looks like Alvin Ailey's dance troupe at an after-work party. What else is not quite right? Romello kills Sal. But if you listen, you can hear Sal talking to someone in the apartment. Honey, come on, will ya? The cop that lets you catch your own, you're not on balado, but Tanagazi. Since no one is supposed to know he did it, did Romello kill the screaming woman too? Good night. Boy, sound like you're coming correct, man. He got that legit aroma coming off him, look like to me. What you think is going on there? What you know about him? No, no man, look like, you know, they want to lease a piece so they can scramble some eggs of their own, man. Shit. Sorry, we getting paid rent. Ain't no harm in that, right? That's what's how you look? Talking to Lolly without telling what up, me. man? We just hanging at the joint, man. Kicking it like good fellows, man. Just talking business, man. Why don't you just cut me some slack, Jack? Observation. Do you remember Michael Wright ever playing a character that wasn't on the verge of a nervous breakdown? Hey, I'm your motherfucking older brother, man. Fuck you, Ro, man. I got ideas too, man. Good ones. I keep trying to share them with you, man. All you do is just piss on me. Another not quite right? Ray Nathan sets up a meeting with African drug importers. Are we to believe these guys would wait until a dinner meeting just to say no? Then say it in the most offensive manner possible? Like, Nigerians wouldn't understand that that term is offensive to black Americans. Well, we've been thinking about this, Renitan, and we just, it won't work. We can't work with Agatha. Well, don't take this personally, Romelo. It won't work. You do your thing, I do my thing, you know? It won't work. We can't work with Akata. Akata, Akata. Where's this Akata shit? Like American? Oh, shit. Cotton picker. Oh. 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 An hour ago? You left him hanging up there all that time. That's not not quite right. That's just fucked up. I'm down. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I ain't going out like that, Ron. I ain't with no motherfucking poop, fuck, punk, ass, pussy boy, piece shit. This is Harlem, motherfucker. The only motherfucking piece they understand up here is nine motherfucking millimeter. This is the flavor that they savor up here, neighbor. Look, champ, you want to start this? Fine with me. But first, I think you better look out that window. You see the guy reading the comic book? Uh -huh. And the one on the heavy bag, you see him? Yo, who's here? And how about the one with the hood? Now you see him? I get that Romello is supposed to be a burnt-out drug dealer looking to go straight, but is it really believable that he would give a pass to a guy that killed his childhood friend? Look, Lolly, I think we need to call a truce. You don't hit my men, I won't hit your men. You don't hurt my brother, and I won't take your whole family. We'll work it out so you can get a piece of the action. Okay, chump? I mean, chap. My word is barn. Looking back over the years, I guess I shed some tears. I told myself time and time again, this time you're gonna win. But another fight, things ain't right. 
specific instructions to handle all the legal requirements. And you don't seem to be listening to me, Oliver. Don't come in here with an attitude. Observation. Up to this point, Romello has been pretty passive in responding to a number of major threats. His business is threatened by a potential rival. His friend tortured and murdered. A major drug war is looming. And there was an attempt on his life personally. In each instance, he chose peaceful resolution. But a douchebag lawyer talks to him in a snide fashion, and his response? I work, and you, you sell dope. I mean, if anyone was fucking with anyone here. A sudden burst of violence with death threats. You're fucking winning a wet t shirt contest, <laughs> motherfucker. This is the only time in the film Romello threatens to use his gun. You handle my shit, counselor. Talking that shit, man, about how you was leaving, man. I didn't want to believe you. But now, I'm thinking. Observation. In two separate movies, New Jack City and Sugar Hill, Snipes' drug dealer character recalls his youth. Both times he gets zooted on some Red Devil Angel dust. Look, Ray. Freeze it right there. Bring up two screens and run it. The group Jughead, he told me, he said that to prove my loyalty, I had to snuff somebody out. It was like Bat, no problem. I said, what, an enemy it was? He said, no, 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 that's too easy. It's got to be an ordinary mo. So I rolled down to 23rd, right? Caught me a bag of that red devil angel dust. <sighs> Man, I got so zooted. Remember one time we went to this girl's dust party up in the polo grounds? It was passing around tray bags of red devil dust like the shit was water. You remember that? We rolled a couple of splits, boom, popped them in the cake like they were candles. <laughs> I got crazy zooted that night. Crazy zooted. Apparently his drug of choice for doing crazy shit resumed. Now I realized there wasn't no terrace. Here I am, 24 stories up, legs hanging out the window. You come, and you grab me, and you pulls me back in. And you told me, you said, Rome, it's time to go home. Not a criticism. Ray Nathan's pension for rhyming and alliteration was a nice quirk of the character. I never got high after that. And the last not quite right? Rome. Rome. Getting gut shot doesn't instantly kill or renders one unconscious. But moving someone with a possible spinal injury could only make things worse. It's possible Romello wasn't paralyzed at that point. Until she did that shit. You know, Ray Nathan may still be alive. I mean, Rome survived his injury. Just saying. After so much pain and so much death, there's still... Observation. Hey, the legs don't work, but he made sure the penis still does. Now that's how you prioritize things. Now there's hope. My brother, Romello. Hey, Romy. Romello, the mellow fellow. Between dreams and reality. My brother was under the impression that you want to do some business. It's one's work. We can't work with Jakarta. What is this Jakarta? Like American cotton picker. Between trust and deception. Romello's not that easy to handle. He's going to see through this. The decision's already been made. Between Convent Avenue and St. Nick's. The streets are mine. I do know what's going on out here. How much prove it to you? I'll put you in somebody's head. Go, now. I 
trying to save the brother's life, man. Less of a hood movie, Sugar Hill, with its burnished earth tones and lavish cinematography, as well as its cultured jazz soundtrack, elevates the urban crime genre in much the same way that the look and feel of the Godfather films were head and shoulders above the mafia movies of its day. Wesley Snipes as Romello Scuggs is the 180 degree opposite of his other iconic gangster role as Nino Brown in New Jack City. Where Nino was loud, crass, and cruel, Romello was studied, silent, and brooding. Nino reveled in his gangsterism. Romello was revolted by it. For him, it was a necessary evil function. I'm not like my brother. With gripping performances from Clarence Williams III as the drug-addled father and Michael Wright as Romello's temperamental older brother Ray, Sugar Hill aspired to present urban crime cinema more like a Shakespearean play with the family conflicts and ill-fated life choices delivered in melodramatic style. I don't want any more killing. I'm done. I'm finished. If you agree with this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if I missed an observation, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to support the channel and videos, feel free to donate through PayPal or Cash App. And don't forget to pick up some cool NQR gear. All the links are listed in the description below. And thanks for watching.